Okay, so we start by opening the, uh, we'll open the toolkit first. So it's the one without the three circles underneath. So it's just a connect bar. And we scroll down to the D2D, click run. There's me. Um, and then you click the connect icon with the three circles under it. <coughs> It'll come up with the D2D app there. Press connect. And you can start to record. So it's recording away. You can see the milliseconds counting up there. So if you press stop, so we press play again, you can see it playing back. So we'll just stop it at that point. Play again. Stop. So if you want to save it, you press save. At the minute, it's saving it to that default um, location that you showed. So it'll be Connect Studio repository. So Connect Studio capture, then the time and date. So if we press save. So we'll clear that and then it's back to viewing. So what I'll do is I'll just close all these down. Right, so if you want to play it back, you go on to the player. So that's a connect bar with the three dots underneath. Stay disconnected. File, open. And then you can see the Connect Studio capture there. So if we open that, then you can obviously play it, but you can't see it. So then if we open the toolkit, and then run that. So we'll just put that just there. I'll turn that to something else. So when I go to play it, so if I press play now, yeah, then obviously you just see him alive view. So let me just try opening that. So if we close all that first, if we now open the toolkit first. Scroll down and we open the D2D. We'll just press pause and pause on all these. So they're saying I can move the sensor around, they're just paused at the minute. Um, And then I'll open player up. So you just want to stay disconnected. View. So if I press depth, view, color, and view, 3D view. So if we go file open now and then we press that the one we've recorded and then we play it what you'll see is the file being played